Tonight we're going to tell you about a beauty queen with a secret medical condition. She spent most of her adolescence hiding it, but has now decided to share the pain she is turning into a positive in an exclusive interview with our own Glenda Lewis. Glenda joins us now with more. Becoming Miss Michigan 2013 was a complete surprise to Wyandotte native Jacqueline Schultz. And now she has turned the spotlight on a little known disease that affects about 75,000 women in the U.S. And she's one of them. Miss Michigan USA for 2013 is Miss Jacqueline Schultz. Congratulations. What a win for the Wyandotte native who had never been in a beauty pageant in her life. There's your Miss Michigan USA for 2013. This is the way we know 24-year-old Jacqueline Schultz, but she didn't really know herself until age 15 when she found out what was going on inside her body. I failed to menstruate. So they first thought because I was so tall and thin and athletic that it was just because I didn't have enough body fat to start. So when I hit the age of 15, they were like, okay, well, why don't we go and get an MRI? The doctor came out after the ultrasound test, and he asked me, has your daughter had a hysterectomy? And I said, I beg your pardon? And he said, your daughter needs um, some further evaluation because I don't know what I'm looking at. Jacqueline was eventually diagnosed with a rare condition called Meyer Rokentansky Kusterhauser syndrome, or MRKH, that caused her to be born without a uterus. About one in 4,500 women have it, and at 15, it was tough for her to handle it. The last thing I wanted was to be different, so I didn't tell anybody about it. Jacqueline has now turned her MRKH from a weakness to a strength. She's now the spokeswoman for a beautiful you, MRKH.org, connecting and uplifting women across the globe and encouraging them that they can still have the motherhood connection. It's just this incredible support system. It's been great, and I was lucky to find them. I do not have a uterus. But I have fully functional ovaries, which means I could have a surrogate mother or adopt. I blamed myself. I thought, what was I exposed to? What could I have done that would prevent it? Dr. Elizabeth Quint, her, the first words out of her mouth were, Mrs. Schultz, it wasn't your fault. And I said, I said like, excuse me, You're fine. whoa. <laughs> there's, uh, there's been studies about it and it's nothing that, it's not, past your genetics and it's not anything that the birth mother did. Now there are only tears of joy. Oh, that's a good picture. I never saw that one. Part of the Miss Universe pageant platform is educating young women about reproductive health. She was destined to do this, uh, being the pageants involved in uh, women's reproductive problems and here she is right now <laughs> spreading the word. Uh, it's wonderful. Hopefully she'll wow the stage again in June for the Miss USA pageant, but really, Jacqueline's true beauty is on the inside. I feel like there's a reason that I was born not to be able to have my own children, so I want to adopt and be able to save a child that, you know, maybe can't have a loving family. Jacqueline will take the stage in the 2013 Miss America pageant at the Planet Hollywood Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. And while we support her walks on the stage, she's continuing to use it as a platform to support women with MRKH. A Beautiful You is even planning an informational meeting for the public. That's in Ann Arbor, May 11th. We have more information on our website, WXYZ.com. Back to you. Oh, thanks, Glenda. And you know what? I was looking her story yeah. up online, yeah. and so many it's women are, are thankful that women like her have the courage to speak about it because a lot of women are born without a uterus, and when you hear what yeah. other people go through, it helps you speak out and not feel embarrassed. And she's yeah. helping others, which is great, and we wish her the best of luck as she goes forward with her pageant career. Yeah.